with the KX Storm Team. So this is how it's going to work. I say, hey, Tom, and you tell me the weather. I'm not sure that that was actually the format, but it was cute. I loved it. And uh, I'm guessing that was President Trump there. Uh, there wasn't any other uh, notification with that, but very, very cute. Looking at the KX Cam in Dickinson right now, looks to be uh, pretty dry. Most of the uh, snow was around uh, Highway 83 and points off to the east. And for whatever reason, my computer is not moving here. So uh, let me uh, just see what's going on here, because it is definitely not moving. We'll try this and see if it works any better. Ah, uh, there we go. Here's what you need to know for the next couple of days. Uh, most areas will have light snow that are having light snow will end tonight, and it's going to remain fairly cloudy. And then for uh, tomorrow, it'll be fairly cloudy but mild. And as a bonus, light wind. So tomorrow's the day to get out and enjoy because on Sunday, it looks like there's going to be areas with some light snow once again, and light is the key word. But Look at next week, a big cool down, probably midweek of next week. Temperatures right now are in the 30s, so it's not quite as warm as it was yesterday, but still, uh, for the first of November, not bad. Uh, it is a little bit below normal, but not a lot below normal. Uh, the wind is blowing pretty good, 15 to 25 miles an hour as an average for the sustained winds. Some of the wind gusts were a lot stronger than that, but still, uh, that wind will get your attention outside, but if it was this kind of wind, and uh, we had real cold temperatures, uh, we'd be dealing with some serious wind chills. The wind gust right now, uh, pretty much statewide, are 25 to a little over 35 miles an hour. It looks like Bismarck and Garrison, kind of the uh, windiest areas at this point. And I think the wind will drop off quite a bit tonight. So the snow just hasn't gone away around Minot. It's kind of around the south central part of the state, uh, just to the east of Bismarck right now, warm enough that maybe just a few uh, raindrops are falling. But again, even this is going to end later on this evening. And all this stuff that's up in Canada is still going to be heading into North Dakota, but it's far enough east that it's, it may clip the Turtle Mountains. But for most of this, it is going to be well off to the east, closer to Devil's Lake and for Grand Forks. Even that's not very heavy. If you're going out to watch maybe a Friday night football game at a local high school, especially north of Lake Sakakawea, still have a lot of slushy conditions on the road, uh, scattered slush, and there has been some ice in the northwest, so the northern uh, roads are just a little bit rougher shaped than the south. And tonight, when the temperature drops, those slushy conditions, well, well it's going to change to solid ice. So here's our precision cast overnight into tomorrow morning. Don't see any snow there, so that's pretty nice. Uh, there might be a couple of snowflakes or raindrops uh, by midday tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. Some sun, a lot of clouds, not much wind. Actually, a fairly decent day. The next 72 hours for Dickinson. Sunday, a pretty decent chance of uh, rain or snow with a temperature right around 40. And for Williston, about a 50% chance. Those temperatures really aren't too bad. Forecast lows tonight in the 20s. And uh, then daytime highs tomorrow will be a little bit warmer. Tomorrow will probably be the warmest day for a while, at least through the next week. Don't forget, we've told you about it a couple of times. You get to uh, get an extra hour of sleep, change the clocks, check those temperatures. See that uh, Wednesday night, 10 degrees in Minot, 11 in, uh, in uh, Bismarck, and Nicholas and Lorne, that 10 degrees in Minot, that's on a hill at the airport. And I've found out that not a lot of people actually live at the airport. So if you're in a lower elevation town, we could be in the single digits close to zero then. Oh. That was a very presidential lead into that forecast. By yeah, the way, I think right. So. Tom, thanks very much. Next